mm. and there are those who possibly feel they have a gift in singing mm. but uh, given the industry and the terrain sometimes mm. there's that fear that it cannot bring bread mm. and pay your bills mm. how have you managed to overcome that um, just like every industry I think it takes time for you know something to grow mm -hmm. it may not be as fast as when you sell food you know mm -hmm. the, the, the money coming back but um, of course with time it pays off okay. so it's always wise I tell people it's at first when you're beginning do something on the side mm -hmm. some biasara, mm -hmm. which I've done you know for a long time some biashara on the side mm -hmm. um, or a job or something and then do music but when you see it's paying off that's when you can you know live and invest you know with the music okay yeah all right mm. let's talk about the gospel industry in kenya and uh, musicians gospel musicians there was a shift mm. about uh, maybe three four years ago where i mean we had gospel music literally almost take over the airwaves mm. um your comments on that mm. i think it still is mm -hmm. I think it still is, um, yeah, and, and I don't think I lie to myself when I say that. I think even in clubs they play gospel. A lot. Know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't go to clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to ask you, how uh, did you know how that? How did I know? <laughs> you, I'm you've told, been told eh? I've been told, and then of course when you're passing by town you hear songs <laughs> being played, and you know that is not secular, it's gospel. Mm -hmm. So um, um, I think it's still the same thing, and I thank God for that. I attribute a lot of that success to some of the people that have labored. I think things like Groove Award have helped, you know, stiffen the competition. Competition is good when it's healthy. So I think things like Groove have helped people like K Crew, you know, some of the people that have been there for the last more than 10 years. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And uh, you've mentioned going to clubs and all that. We've had gospel artists who've been caught in clubs. And of course, the reason is, mm. I mean, we're here to minister. Your, your take on that? Mm-hmm. I won't be quick to judge and I won't be, um, it's not a safe place, it's, n it's not um, a good place, you know, because I saw some, you know, where entries are beer, two beers, you know, entry to, <laughs> to the club. Well, sometimes, you know, you're thinking you're going to minister to people and also myself, I found myself in places whereby, you know, it's an it's a, it's a end of year party and I've been called to sing and, you know, they're all everybody is drinking you know that sort of thing but but what do i say i think you need god's leading to do that different people have different calls but i wouldn't easily run into that not okay. unless god really speaks to me okay yeah how, how should a gospel artist carry themselves because this has been one of the things that has been very controversial mm. uh, when you look at the singer versus the lifestyle mm. should there be a correlation between the two um you know I think gospel is about Jesus mm. and so our example is Jesus so if you're singing gospel if you are gospel then you ought to be like Jesus you know Jesus um, was perfect <laughs> but of course are we you saying we should be perfect um, um, we work we work towards we it. press towards that mm -hmm. and so um, Ushuda, <laughs> you know, I was brought up in Isma Kanisa Zakiro, Ushuda, ni muhimu pia, uchuge Ushuda, Ushuda. I think we should just emulate Christ, because you wouldn't find Christ drinking in a club, you know, and, and, and you wouldn't find Christ smoking or, you know, speaking this kind of filthy stuff. Uh, you know so so i think when you're doing gospel you should be just like christ mm -hmm. yeah 